Hey there, mass mind bender puzzle lovers. Imagine this. You are a little frog sitting at the bottom of a staircase, and you really want to reach the top. But there's a twist. You can only jump one step or two steps at a time. Now, here's the question. How many different ways can you hop your way to the fifth step? Pause if you want to solve it on your own. Five, four, three, two, one. Sounds tricky. Don't worry. We're about to break it down step by step and uncover the secret math patterns hidden inside this puzzle. All right, let's set the stage. Our frog can take a small jump of one step. Oh, I'll take a big leap of two steps. And the goal? Get to step five without skipping a beat. But how many ways can it be done? Pause if you want to solve it on your own. Five, four, three, two, one. Now I will help you. Okay, let's now solve this problem together. Let's start small and build up. One, to reach step one, the frog can only jump one step. That's one way. Two, four step two, it can jump. One plus one, or two. That's two ways. Now it gets interesting. Four step three, the frog can. One plus one plus one, one plus two, two plus one. That's three different ways. Wait a second. Are you noticing something cool? One, two, three. Hmm. Does this remind you of the Fibonacci sequence? Let's keep going. Four step four. We count all the ways from step three and step two. That's three plus two is equal to five ways. And for step five, we add the ways from step four and step three. Five plus three is equal to eight ways. And there you have it. Eight different ways for our frog to reach the top of the staircase. How cool is that? You just cracked a math puzzle that's also secretly about patterns and problem solving. Awesome work. If you had fun solving this frog puzzle, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun math challenges and brain teasers just like this. And here's a bonus question. What if the frog had to jump six steps? How many ways could it do that? Let me know in the comments below.